can bring you the team news from the West Ham Liverpool game, which is coming up uh, with us uh, from 5:30. A couple of changes for West Ham: Reed and Obiang in for Font and Zabaleta. So, a couple of changes there from Slaven, but it's three changes for Liverpool. Mane is back fit after his hamstring injury. Very important that for Liverpool. Oxley, Chamberlain, and Chan come in. So, it's a couple of changes there in midfield. Uh, Milner, Henderson, and Sturridge are the ones to oh. drop out. In the championship, Millwall nil, Burton Albion one. Filed 4 1 up on, tra on Kidderminster now in the cup. Let's go to Peterborough then, and Oliver Wilson with news of that equaliser. Peterborough one, Tranmere one. It's no more than the National League side deserve as well. A really good ball from the right flank from Motley Henry, just picking out the substitute, Andy Cook, who's only been on for four minutes. His header was down into the ground. Malley got a save onto it, but the Peterborough keeper just couldn't keep it out. His fingertips not enough to stop it from rolling in at the far post. And Tranmere level, it's no more than they deserve. Peterborough one, Tranmere one. And a couple of goals in Scott and Rory Hamilton to tell us all about at Hamilton. Yeah, absolutely. It was... Uh... Looking like a quiet second half, but Stevie May's corner was knocked in by Carrie Arneson, his first goal on his return to the club. But just two minutes later, Hamilton went straight upfield. David Templeton, a low shot into the corner of the net. It's now 2 2. That's Burton's first away goal. Marvin Sordell with it in 11 hours and seven minutes. They're leading at 10 man Millwall by a goal to nil. Derby pull one back at home. Time running out for them, though. Johnny Russell has got it 3 1 still to Derby. Gainsborough against Slough Town. Slough Town, Danny Jameson are making the headlines today. Yeah, they, they certainly are. They're showing exactly why they're the top scorers of any team in the top eight divisions of English football. Manny Williams has been a constant menace to the Gainsborough back line. He has the goal he deserves. They lead 4-0 now. The Slough fans behind the goal chanting they're the Brazil of non-league and with good reason. Gainsborough nil, Slough 4. So this is going to equal their best ever FA Cup performance to make it to the second round draw on Monday night, 7 o'clock, live with us here before the Chorley game. Uh, Natalie Quirk's got more goals in the Steamlidge Nantwich game. Well, Mark, there was only a goal in it for an over an hour here, but no upset on the cards at the Atlantic Stadium. We've had three goals in 11 minutes in the second half. Matty Godden with his second of the day, his fifth goal in three games. Jonathan Smith with the other two goals for Stevenage. The League Two side are going through to the second round. The Brazil of the non-league, Slough Town, South Star, 5-0 up now. Fraser's got the fifth, Gainsborough Trinity nil, Slough Town of the seventh tier. Five. Dundee United two up on St Mirren in the Scottish Championship. Gillingham two, Leighton Orient one. So Leighton Orient of the uh, non-league two one down there. Right back to the Premier League then in these matches. Robbie, let's start with oh, you. Oh West Brom, Mark. You know, and just watching this game, it might be time for you know Steve Mounier to come on because um, the Potter looks a bit tired. You know they haven't got an out ball. Just put the ball on the channel, get a fresh pair of legs up front to chase the ball down because it's West Brom tacking down the right hand side. Um, now I'm all the time, but it's, you know... Oh, goal, Burnley! Brilliant header from Sam Vokes. Sam Vokes has uh, come on uh, a substitute. Do you know what? They, they've hardly had a chance in this game. It is typical Sean Dyche, vintage uh, Burnley. It's a cross <laughs> from the right-hand side, left-footed, whipped in uh, from near the byline. And Vokes, oh. it's a sensational header. He's on the penalty spot. He's going back towards his own goal, and he powers a header into the corner, back across Fraser Forster. It skids off the turf. It is an unbelievable header uh, from Sam Vokes, and Burnley take the lead, undeservedly, you have to say, but it's a superb finish. Right, we're just watching it again, as you say, absolutely from the penalty spot inside the near post. The first shot on target, the first effort on target. It's a great header. Looking at that, Paul Ince, can Force to do anything about that or is it in too good a spot? No, I agree with that. It's a great header, but he doesn't seem to me to move his feet quick enough. Feet and when he's dived, he's diving back in the goal. Again. Yeah, again, so that means he hasn't got there quick enough. I mean, what I don't like is when you've got someone on the wing and you talk about desire and determination to get out there and block the cross. Don't let him put the ball into the box. He's got a free ball into the box. It's a great header. Uh, but for me, the keeper should do better. A few reactions from some of the defenders of Southampton were a yeah. bit like... Come on, you know, I have what, to say... The goalkeeper's feet. It's a great header. Yeah. He's done everything right there, Sam Vokes. But, I've, yeah, he needs to move quicker. He just looks like he's... 
I'm almost convinced yeah, no, yeah, he's got no, a, no. like an injury or something because he's not moving well. He's died in the game. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's not as blatant. Don't get me wrong. It's not like oh, it's a mistake, but I, I, I will. I, 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 I don't yeah. think he anticipates the, where the head is actually going, which is his, his mistake, and he doesn't get his feet going. No, he but do, do you know what? You have to focus on the quality of the header there. You know. Yeah, because by the way, a if he does save here. it, it's a very good save. Yeah. You know, we're, we're talking like a top end save, but. You're right, focus on the finish. Reading 4-1 up at Derby now, Mo Barrow with a fourth. Before today, Derby only conceded four in seven, they conceded four this afternoon at a Pride Park. Ross County three, Motherwell two. Back to Ben Monday at Ebbsfleet, this really thrilling cup tie, cup tie at the Cufflink Stadium. Yeah, and the League One side now in full control here at the Cufflink Stadium. It's now Doncaster Rovers four, goals up against Ebbsfleet United. Jordan Houghton tapping in after some good work from his fellow teammates. Ebbsfleet really up against it because in the last few seconds they've just had Chris Bush sent off for a second yellow card. So they're down to 10 men. We've got nine minutes left here. It is Ebbsfleet United 2, Doncaster Rovers 4. What have you got for us, Robbie? Yeah, Charlie Chern on Twitter. I've got apologies to make. He says, Robbie Savage recommended we make a four substitution. You couldn't make it up, obviously. <laughs> Huddersfield have made three something. I was starting to win. <laughs> 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 Um, Charlie, you're right. What am I talking about? They made these. <laughs> keep going to watch well, the Charlie. Just keep getting those saddles. <laughs> and in the championship, with around about five or so minutes to go, Sheffield Wednesday still lead 2 0 at Villa Park. And Wednesday striker Jordan Rhodes is clearly trying to prove a point to his manager, Carlos Carvajal, because he's only got his second start since August today. And that's now two goals in two games for him. The fans are getting in touch. Matt Godlin says, I'm not sure whether I'm happy about the scoreline today or that Jordan Rhodes has scored again and Barty Owl says absolutely chuffed for Jordan Rhodes and the team keep at it lads we're finally starting to click and Sheffield United have come from behind Leon Clark's got both third at the start of play Chris Wilder's team the 2-1 up on Hull Sam Vokes with the first Burnley effort on goal in the game at St Mary's it might be enough for all three points it's a fantastic header and a very good cross from Goodmanson. Goodmanson cutting back onto his left foot and crossing it. And Vokes climbing high by the defence and heading it oh, inside man. Forster's left-hand post. Could the Southampton goalkeeper have done better? Could he be lighter on his feet and get across his line more? Who well, Vokes with the goal. Uh, Paul Glumman's absolutely doing his, his, his head in here. He's absolutely yes. going mental, sat on his bench. They've had about five or six good opportunities from set pieces. Sam Klukas was, was guilty of about three poor deliveries. And I think Keyes took the other two. And all of them have been overhit. Every single one of them's overhit. So you're giving yourself zero opportunity against an already very good defence from set pieces. Um, another incident, Sam Klukas gets brought off. He was poor today. As a player, you've got to hand up, hold up your hand sometimes and say I was poor. Volleying bags. You know, OK, you're upset, but he's just as much to blame as everybody else today. It's been a, a shocking performance. It's not a happy ship, is it? It's, it's not, no, no. It's not. I mean, yes, he's had to play at left-back, he's had to put in a shift for his side, but those types of things there just don't help. You're right, I'm out on, uh, Chris said about West Brom fans, James Langley on Twitter says, time for Pulis to go, I think. Oh, they're losing one nil here. I think it's harsh. Well, it's going to be no win in nine, is it? Well, they might equalise, of course, but it's probably still no win in nine. Ebbsfleet, Doncaster, Ben, Monday. This one really is all over, Ben. It looked like a great cup tie and an upset at one stage. Yes, it, it certainly did. Uh, Ebbsfleet United went two up in the first half, but Doncaster Rovers scored twice in first half stoppage time. And ever since this second half kicked off, they haven't really looked back. They now lead by five goals to two. James Coppinger has just slotted in his second of the game uh, from the penalty spot. So 5-2 to Doncaster. Ebbsfleet down to ten men. Chris Bush has been sent off in the last few minutes for a second bookable offence. Uh, oh, oh, Mark, what's that? We want Pulis out, the West Brom fans. There's some of them, there's just a there's picture now of the camera. There's Tony Turvin. What? There's only two of them, there's not a... Well, there was been, a, okay, a couple of, OK, oh, Matt, let me start again. A couple of West Brom fans <laughs> were singing, we want Pulis out, which is, again, I'm sure they'll be, you know, if they lose this game against 10 men, there's field, no winning nine, as you said, Matt. There will be people questioning Tony Pulis, but, you know, the question I'd ask the guys, if that decision was made, who would West Brom go for? Sean Dyche. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, funny you say that because... Um, people... well, no, no, he's not going to go down. He's definitely not going to leave but Burnley he, for West Brom. People are tweeting about Sean Dyche, though. Frank Sale said that is Burnley summed up, defined smash and grab. What a season Dyche and Burnley are having. And Mark Edmondson says Dyche for England. 
Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think let's just let England have got a manager just at the moment. Leon Clark's got a hat trick. Three one. They've come from one down. If Burnley win, you probably know this. They only got seven points away from home last season. If they win this one, that would be eleven all ready for them. Eddie Howe was just going like this. You know, these, that's a manager once tightened up, I could do with the points. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. exactly, yeah, that's exactly right. You've been around the game long enough. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Nailed it. He's, he's <laughs> saying it to anybody, isn't he, or anyone who's looking at him. Tighten yeah, up, we'll tighten take a up. point. Let's just shut up shop and yeah. get, get out of here with a point. Basically. Look like they're going to get it, Paul, into points. Um, let's, look, let's, I could get free. Okay. You know, actually, going for it. I'm, yeah. I think when he went like that, I think he meant like that, go expansive, because just, it's been all... It's been all Bournemouth the last five, ten minutes. Newcastle are out on their feet. If anyone's going to score, I think it's going to be Bournemouth. This is, this is, oh. You'll love this one, Jermaine. Tyler Walker scored again, 4-0. Tyler Walker has scored uh, oh. two goals in his Nottingham Forest career. His dad scored one. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Sorry, two goals today, yes. Yeah. So he scored twice as many today as his dad scored in his entire career. He's still got a long way to go to yeah, get yes, anywhere. Yeah. To the level that Des got. And he'll never beat him. Hearts. You know what I mean? Of yes. course, yeah. He'll never beat Des Walker. <laughs> um, Fleet 2, Doncaster 6, Tommy Rowe. That really is quite some turnaround there. Some of the Swansea fans leaving already, not surprising. And when, when he was having that rant, Paul Clement, oh, he was very much on his own, wasn't he, Jermaine? No one else, you know, his, his right hand man, left hand man, no, those seats were empty. No, he was. He was very much on his own. I mean, this is what managers talk about, about, you know, that, those dark places where you start to question maybe, yet the paranoia kind of sets in, who's with me, who's not with me, and um, those moments I feel like in the coming weeks are going to be right upon him, because question marks are going to be asked about, I, I'm looking at his Swansea side, I'm saying they're going down. They've, got, they've not got enough, enough spirit, enough goals, enough, uh, you know, kind of resilience in them to, to, to get out of this game. Chance, oh, chance, chance, for chance, 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 chance! Oh, he was oh. in the post! Oh. Oh, it was a great run by Barpew. Oh, unbelievable. Oh. He does this so well. He's got great feet when he gets in. He checks. He thinks he's going to shoot. Oh. He checks again. I think it, oh, I think it so comes off to centre half oh, onto oh, the post. Yeah, off his heel. Comes oh, off. Oh, what? Onto his. Is that, is that LaSalle? Who is that? No. Clark. It's oh. Clark. Just stabs his foot out. Oh, wow. Brilliant defending, though. Brilliant defending. And it comes off the back of his heel and hits the post. Unbelievable. Oh. Well, well done, the defender, for getting himself in, in, in the way. Yeah. Um, Slough Town, six up on games right now. Matthew Ledge is having quite a day there. He's got a hat-trick. Um, Oxford oh, United went out the cup last night. Oxford City could oh. be going through in a shock at Colchester. Oh, Reshman Chowdhury in Essex for us. Yes, absolutely. It is still Colchester United nil, Oxford City one. It's been a really incredible performance from Oxford, I have to say. They have defended in numbers, really suffocating. Uh, Colchester here, they're not giving them a chance, forcing them into errors. There have been chance after chance for the host to try to get a goal. A lot of frustration kicking in amongst the supporters and amongst the players. I'm <laughs> turning over my shoulder just to see what's happening. And again, Oxford, you know, Oxford City have got the ball back. They've been really strong in midfield, good on the counter, and they are holding Colchester United to one goal to nil. Very big goal in the cup for Alex Gordon-Martin at Meadow Park. Alex, which way has it gone? There has indeed. The National League side have gone ahead here against Blackpool. It's 2-1 and it's the other substitute, Dan Holman. Blair Turger equalised two or three minutes after coming on, uh, coming on a substitute. And Dan Holman is just uh, coming into the back post, flick on from a corner and smashed it into the net. The Borenwood fans have run onto the pitch. We've got two or three uh, minutes left here and the National League side look like they're going to pull off an upset. Well, if they do win, it would equal Borenwood, their best FA Cup uh, run. They made it to the second round 20 years ago. Blackpool, of course, former FA Cup winner. Sam Vokes with that header, born in Southampton and a Southampton <laughs> fan as well. Could well be the winner. And uh, Southampton wanted a change of style this season, Mark, and they've got one now. Yeah. They've put Van Dijk as a makeshift centre forward and they are just launching it. What <laughs> would the Southampton fans be saying if Claude Puel did that? You know, it's been a poor performance. Uh, Burnley have done a job on them and, you know, worrying times at Southampton. Just watching that replay oh, again. Oh, chance! Oh, chance for Swansea! Oh, oh, is it the bar? Oh, is it the bar? bar. It's I think it's Bro narsing. Great Nossing. position as well. Oh, it's a brilliant oh. play, I think, from Tammy Abraham. Gets it into his feet. Lovely little turn. Slides it in behind Dunk. Narsing takes a touch onto his right foot. Smashes it right off the top of the bar. I mean, he's got to finish that. He's got to. I think it's a very good opportunity. I mean, he, he bends his run perfectly. He's onside. 
He's got to try and slot that, I feel. Yeah. Bruno does well to try and come across and cover, but... Oh. We'll put it down to his left, keeper's left I hand. I think so, he's almost got yeah. near post. Yeah. He's got too much power, hasn't he? But, I mean, chance gone. Oh. Just a quick word about Clark. That's great defending. He's, he's Goal! Oh, oh, they've nicked it! Oh, they've, they've well, they have nicked it. it. Cook scored. Unbelievable. Steve Cook has scored. I can't believe it. Look over there. I saw ah, over the place. <laughs> what a save. 19th at the start of play. Oh, massive, massive, massive win this the I mean, before that, Defoe had a shot. Oh. Defoe's cover has been outstanding. Um, and he's had a shot. Keeps made a save. He's got out for a corner. And it's a ball into the box. In swinger, and it's a great header. Heads it back from where it's just come from. You got a ball there. And I, oh, what a save! That's a great header. I said, I said you before, ball will flip back the team. We're going to score. Yeah. Brilliant header, but also saved by brilliant header by Cook, well. and then what a save from Lursell. Oh, he's made oh, two save. outstanding saves the last minute. It's all West Brom. Corner, McLean. Come. Oh. No, it's still in. <laughs> We've had more excitement yeah. in a minute than we have. No, oh, oh, that's oh. Outside. Oh my word! Oh. It's all West Brom, right? I just feel being brilliant. Did you see that? It's all over at Southampton. Great win for Burnley, Chris. Yeah, a, a brilliant win. Groans uh, going around St Mary's from the Southampton fans, but the Burnley fans who have made that trip, oh. jubilation. They're applauding their team off. And Burnley, you know, a typical oh, Burnley. Fabianski's out of his goal. He? Oh, terrible pass. What's he doing? Run to the corner, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, well, Fabianski, oh. first of all, came yeah. up for the corner. It was a terrible corner again from Key. Rolled it along the floor. Oh, then they could have broke. They're going forward now, Swansea. Just goes out for a goal kick. But they've broke. It's, it's with Izzy Brown on the right wing. And, I mean, just have a shot, have a go. Or take it into the corner yeah. and get the points. He tries to pass it infield to uh, Hemed, and <laughs> which resulted in the, the, the Swansea attack. And I think... They may have another corner here. Well, I, I, they've certainly either got a corner or they've got a throw. No, they've they have got, got another corner. corner. I mean, what? this is. I mean, Where, where's all, all this excitement being the Fabianski's rest of the afternoon? Fabianski's up in the box again. Let's see if they can actually That's provide a decent great. delivery this time. Right, Whips so it corner in. for Swansea. Oh, oh, oh Fabianski gets his head on it. He's he, he spotted something. He spotted a free oh, kick. Oh, oh, that's a bad oh, tackle. Oh, McLean. Yeah, that was not touched, yeah. I tell you what, Thomas Inns there. He's offside. I tell you what, McLean Roger Reese got the yellow give card. Me out. Yellow card. I tell you what. Oof, get... I tell you what. Oh, it's terrible. Chris, Chris, what do you say, McLean on ins? It doesn't look good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably be about that. Oh, that's a wreck. All over, it's, it's, all over St James's Park. All over St James's Park. Newcastle have won one nil. Uh, New, sorry, Bournemouth have beaten Newcastle one nil. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's a massive win for Bournemouth. Oh, so right. Burnley have won 1-0 on the road. Card, like Bournemouth have won 1-0 on the road. And Brighton have won 1-0 on the road. Yeah, another Chris Hewton masterclass on the road. In all honesty, it wasn't uh, their usual style today, where, it, where they would sit off and soak up pressure and counter-attack. They were the better side throughout the whole of this game. Played on the front foot, looked the more dangerous throughout. Swansea, I mean, it's worrying times for the fans, really is. Right, where did we start with that? Chris, boy, quickly, that one. That looked like a nasty tackle. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the best, and I think Thomas Ince has done well getting out of the way of it, because I think if he makes contact, he could have got some seri been seriously injured there. And he's, he's lucky that he stayed on, but for me, he could have, he could have seen red for that challenge. He should, he should have seen red, yeah. yeah. Look like Colchester beaten in the FA Cup. Colchester in League Two, 13th in League Two. 56 yeah. places between Colchester and Oxford City. And Oxford City are won by a goal to nil. We'll get a rest win shortly. That's a big surprise. Leon Clark's got all four as Sheffield United come from behind to beat Hull 4 1. Crew look like they've nicked it at home to Rotherham in the cup as well. You still playing, Robbie? <coughs> Six minutes of injury time, Mark, and there's, I think, about a minute left. So Lursell's had to pull off a couple of Lursel, great saves. Lursell, two loads great on. saves it was. One world class one, wasn't it? Yeah, from a shot from Phillips. It's still West Brom, though. Are you going to stay with me, Mike? Yep, stay with you. We'll keep. Um, Nottingham Forest have hammered QPR 4 0. Watchdale threw in the cup 4 0 yep. winners over Bromley. But Slough Town and Colchester, the big winners uh, in the FA Cup today. The draw on uh, Monday night, 7 o'clock. At 5 15, Dortmund Bayern Munich, BT Sport 2 as well. Still defending. Good. Still defending. Been magnificent Six. defensively. They're all putting their hands up. Yeah. Come on, Rev, blow the whistle, they're saying. I think they're saying that. Well, I'd be saying yeah, it. Was six, <laughs> six minutes. Rondon's going to take a long throw. And there goes the final whistle. Huddersfield, 1-0 win. 
And that's, you know, it's great beating Manchester United, but the no, back to back home wins, that's really critical. He did it with a world class goal from Van der Parra. You know, Wagner's running onto the pitch now. He's running on. Who's he it's going to? Oh, he's jumping over everybody. Oh, it's the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper. That's got involved. And because he's going to have a hug with the terrier. It was two fantastic saves right at the end there. The one from Phillips through legs. You know, great save. They're all looking the goalkeeper, the mascots. The mascots patting him on the head. Great win. For, great win. 4-1-0 wins today and a 1-0 win for a team into the second round for the first time in 48 years. Oxford City have won at Colchester. Reshman Chowdhury. Yeah, and what a job they did on Colchester United today. They defended in numbers. Their man marking was spot on. Their concentration levels on point, particularly towards the end. As Ox uh, Colchester piled on the pressure, they created chance after chance, I have to say, the host side. But you, you must say that... Oxford City came here with a game plan. They knew the kind of opposition they were facing and they put on a magnificent display. Matt Patterson's goal was the difference. He was the number nine player, the player who just before half time had a really good chance on target, which just went wide straight after the second half whistle when he scored on the 46th minute. Great header. And they really, you have to say,